machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building and building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Oh, hi there, kids. So you've come to watch the harvest. So what do you think these are? Apples? No, apples grow on trees. Potatoes? Good guess, but potatoes grow in the dirt. Those are tomatoes. And boy, there sure are a lot of them. Millions of them. Lots and lots of tomatoes. That's the tomato harvester. Say hello to the kids. Hi, you've come in a beautiful day. The tomatoes are ripe and juicy. This is the perfect time to harvest them and that's my job. I'm taking in the whole plant, tomato, vine and all, everything but the roots. As I move down the row of plants, my conveyor belt gathers everything in and... the stuff moves up, up, up inside me. That's where I separate the tomatoes from the vine. And they come out here. Clever, eh? There are still a few vines, but my helpers will pick them out. Get along there, tomatoes. You're going for a ride. <laughs> There's Tractor over there. He drives along beside me and catches the tomatoes as they come off the conveyor. How's it going, Tractor? Good day for harvesting. Just the way I like it. Sunny, warm, and dry. Why don't you show the kids your cutting blades? Good idea. I'm just at the end of a row here. Let me stop for a moment and I'll raise them up. Those round discs are my cutting blades. They spin around and cut the tomato plants off at ground level and leave the roots. Come along, Harvester. Let's keep going. There's a lot of tomatoes to pick. That's for sure. This is our busiest time of year. Those fields are loaded with tomatoes. These tomatoes have been growing all summer, and now they are perfect. But they are all ripe at the same time. It's a good thing we have Harvester, or we couldn't pick them fast enough. We'll be working night and day until we get all of the tomatoes harvested. I'm filling up the trailers in no time. <laughs> Doesn't that thing look like spokes on a bicycle wheel? <laughs> it's funny looking, but it's really handy. It tells me how deep my cutting blade should go. There go the tomatoes, vines and all. Look at the little ones bounce. <laughs> Those metal finger-like things inside the hopper catch the vines and shake loose the tomatoes. That's how I separate the tomatoes from the vines. Right turn, tomatoes! 
It's important to take out the rotten and smashed tomatoes. I'm spitting out all the vines and leaves. They'll be mixed back into the dirt. That gives good nutrition to the soil. Don't you think I'm a pretty amazing machine? I cut off the plants, take off the vines, sort the tomatoes and send them up the conveyor to the trailer. And I do it while I'm still moving. Look at them go! <laughs> I have to move along at the same speed as the harvester. I always fill up the back of the trailer first. The pile can get so high, the driver can't see. I'm almost filled to the top. Just a little more. I'm ready to take your place. Just a moment. That's all the tomatoes I can take. Okay, I've stopped. Away you go. Next, please. Wait until I move into position. Ready? Yeah, fill me up, Harvester. There's a lot of work to do before we're finished this field of tomatoes. I'm on my way. Bye. The tractors I work with are terrific. You know, I really like this job. There's lots of fresh air, and I get to meet a lot of interesting machines. During harvest, we're always busy. trailers are full. Hey guys, I guess it's time somebody sent another load to the tomato factory. Do you think it's time to head out yet? Yes. You've got to get moving. We hardly have any empty trailers. I'm on my way. Come along, kids. The factory's interesting. Here I am at the tomato factory. The harvest is in full swing. Every road in town is filled with farm equipment. First stop is the weigh scales. Each trailer is weighed. They subtract the weight of my trailer, and then they know the weight of the tomatoes I'm delivering. The farmer gets paid by weight. More than 40,000 pounds! That's a lot of tomatoes! Farmers usually get paid by the weight of the produce they deliver. That's easier than counting every tomato, don't you think? Now I'm off to the great tomato water tank! <laughs> okay, turn on the jets! Time for a shower! That's a trap door in my trailer. They are using the water to flush the tomatoes out of the trailer. The water helps them from getting damaged and keeps the tomatoes moving. 
But they're not washing the tomatoes. In fact, that water is pretty muddy. It's being recycled over and over again. Look at them pour out. It's a tidal wave. <laughs> and a waterfall of tomatoes. The tomatoes are starting to get washed now. They are floating down a sort of canal underneath. They'll float along the canal and come up over there. There they are. The tomatoes are being taken up into the factory on that conveyor belt. They're getting a good shower of nice clean water now. Look at them tumble. It's the Great Tomato Escalator! <laughs> This is my third trip today. Boy, it's super busy here. I'll say, it's never ending. Every farm in the area is delivering their tomatoes at the same time. The entire year's supply of tomatoes comes to the factory in only a few weeks. That's a sea of tomatoes. Away you go. I've got to get back to the farm. There will be lots more waiting for me. Flush out that last pile now. That's a lot of tomatoes. And what do you think they will make? Ketchup, spaghetti sauce, tomato soup, salsa sauce, and lots, lots more. Mmm, it's all yummy if you ask me. Maybe the next time you have ketchup with your french fries, it will be made from those very tomatoes. Well, kids, I hope you had a good visit with us in the tomato harvest. But there are other harvests you might visit. Bye for now. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the vineyard. You're in time for the grape harvest. My buddy Clipper and I are getting ready to trim up the grapevines. How you doing, Clipper? Just let me get a good stretch here. <sighs> oh, that feels good. I always like to limber up before I go to work. Those are my clippers that snip off the leaves. The grapes are ripe for harvest. They're luscious and sweet. Beauties. Who wants a haircut? <laughs> okay, tractor, I'm ready. Let's get to work. This looks like a good row. I'm giving a trim to the grapevines. Short on the sides, please. <laughs> the plants are so high, we disappear between these rows. <laughs> the grapevines are planted just far enough apart so that a tractor my size can drive down between them. I take off the leaves in the midsection of the plant, not the ones on the top. The top leaves give the plant lots of good sunshine energy. They need that to stay healthy. Well, don't get too close. You'll get covered in leaves. The grapes grow in the middle of the vines. By taking off these leaves, the grapes are exposed to the sunlight. That helps them to ripen and stops the spread of fungus and mildew. We can clip the leaves in a big vineyard like this in no time flat. And I've never seen clipper damage any of the grapes. I was designed that way. My clippers don't reach in as far as the grapes. They just trim off the outer leaves. This is a great year for growing grapes. The vines are strong and the bunches of grapes are extra juicy. It's just as well that we have a machine like Clipper. 
We could never trim all these leaves by hand. Clipper, you do a pretty good job. Aw, oh, gee, you think so? Sure, don't be so bashful. Gosh, thanks. But you're great, too. I could never do this job myself. I need you to pull me around. I'm happy to do it. We make a great team. These grapevines were planted 15 or 20 years ago, and they've been producing wonderful grapes for years. If we keep looking after them, they'll produce grapes every harvest for a long time yet. You know, kids, grapes are the largest fruit crop in the world. They make jams and jellies from grapes. And did you know that raisins are dried grapes? There are thousands of different types of grapes. This crop is called muscat. They are used to make blended wine. There you go, grapes. Now you can see the sunshine. I think we've given a pretty good haircut to this vineyard clipper. We'd better get out of here. The grape harvester wants to start collecting the grapes. Okay. Here he comes now. We've cleared the field for you. Thanks, fellas. Hope I didn't startle you. I guess I'm pretty tall and scary looking. It helps to be big and tall like me, because I have to straddle the whole grapevine, and they're pretty tall themselves. I'm harvesting the grapes, and I've got to bring in the crop from this whole field. I'm one busy guy. Just let me turn around there and... Yep, here comes the tractor. Are your bins full, grape harvester? They're bulging. It's a good crop this year. That's what we like to hear. Okay, tip out your bin. How's that? Terrific. That's a lot of grapes. I'll say, this tipping device on my bin works perfectly. That's it. My bins are empty. See you later. Now you're going to see my special tipping rig. Don't spill any of those precious grapes. I never spill a drop. I'm an expert. Watch me reach way up to pour the grapes into the bins on the truck. Hmm. Some of the grapes have already been squashed and turned into juice, but that's okay. There, that does it. I guess you're wondering how I picked the grapes off the vine. Let me finish this row and I'll show you my special wiggly picking fingers. There they are. They wiggle back and forth and shake the grapes right off the vine. That's how I do the harvesting. Only a machine like me with wiggly fingers can harvest grapes. I can harvest this whole vineyard in no time flat.
I'm a pretty big machine, but I don't have any problem getting around in this vineyard. It's a great view from up here. My driver can relax and steer, and I do all the work. Grapes hanging on the vine? Now watch! They're gone! My wiggly picking fingers got in there and picked them off the vine! <laughs> I just drive along the vine. The grapes are knocked loose by the wiggly fingers. And the vine goes out the back. There are the grapes. I don't hurt the plants in any way. Sometimes I pull off a few leaves, but that's no problem. I can separate the leaves from the grapes. No grapes here. Got them all. Another row picked clean. are nearly full now, but I guess I can do one last row. We have to pick the grapes just when they are ripe. We only have a short time for the harvest. That's why I'm so useful. I work fast. Yoo-hoo! Tractor! My bins are full! Here I come! Up you go! And now for the second. Better get back to work. I'll see you later. So long. I hope you've got a lot of grapes for me. Sure do. Dump them in. I've got to get to the winery. Have enough room? Keep it coming. Dump the whole thing. Good. I'm out of here. See you later! So long! Don't spill anything! <laughs> Here we are at the winery. This is where they are going to turn the grapes into wine. I'll park here. I need the help of the chain hoist. My bins are pretty heavy when they are full of grapes. Up you go! 
Look how easy it is to tip that heavy bin and pour it into the vat. Each one of my bins can hold tons of grapes. Wow, that's a lot of grapes! Some of the grapes have already been crushed into juice, but that's okay. It's the juice the winery wants. The auger is moving the grapes into the winery. And soon they will be crushed and made into delicious wine. Well, kids, thanks for visiting. Oh, but one of your buddies wants to see you. Next time you sit down for dinner, kids, think of all the machines working in the harvest. Bye! Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you Doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling And flying so high Building a building up to the sky You can watch them all day And never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar Watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working 